This video is sponsored by Model3Part.com. For all the latest and greatest Tesla Model 3 accessories, visit Model3Part.com. Tesla has finally released the long-awaited tow hitch for the Model Y, and now it is currently available to add via the online configurator, which is very exciting. So back in March, Tasmanian released some very cool information about the Model Y being equipped with a feature called trailer mode, which would certainly indicate that the Model Y would come equipped and ready to tow. As deliveries began, new owners scoured the owner's manual and even some took apart their Model Y to find absolutely no information regarding towing. So now that Tesla has finally released some details, let's dive into the Tesla Model Y's towing capacity as I know many of you have been waiting for this. So a few things that I find odd is that there is no mention of the hitch or towing capacity in the owner's manual as mentioned earlier. You know, typically the owner's manual lists a complete guide so that you have a clear understanding of what the vehicle's capabilities and limitations are. You know, and of course knowing them, in my opinion, is pretty crucial. I mean, Tesla should be more than happy to provide this information so that people don't overload the vehicle, which could cause harm to the engine, axle, brakes, and more. But more importantly, you need to know the limitations for safety reasons. I mean, don't you agree? I just don't understand the thought process behind why Tesla didn't include this information in the manual and why it wasn't available when the vehicle was launched. Is it because they wanted to surprise everybody with a new feature after delivery? Who knows? So what I'm going to do for you today is break down the class two towing capacity and show you some of the limitations it has and what you need to be aware of before you go and connect something to your brand new Model Y. So first let's take a look at some basic terms that you should know and get to understand as it relates to towing and the capacity of the Model Y. So let's start out with number one, GVWR or gross vehicle weight rating. This is the maximum weight the vehicle can tolerate for the driver and any passengers, cargo, accessories, and components. Next up we have GTW or gross trailer weight. This is the maximum weight for a trailer along with its contents. Then we have gross combined vehicle weight rating or GCWR. This is the maximum amount of gross weight for the trailer, the vehicle, and all of its contents, which includes the passengers and all your cargo. Next up, we have gross axle weight rating, or GAWR, which is the maximum weight allowed on a single axle for towing purposes. That's an important one, and I think you guys really need to look at that. And lastly, we have tongue weight, or TW. This is the amount of downward force placed on the towing vehicle at the trailer hitch or tongue. And this is usually roughly around 10 or 15% of the GTW. All right, so now that we covered some basic terms, let's take a look at the specs that Tesla released for the Model Y's towing capacity. So the Model Y is equipped with a class two steel tow bar capable of towing up to 3,500 pounds according to Tesla. Sounds pretty good, right? So with the max towing capacity of 3,500 pounds indicates that the Model Y will have a max tongue weight between 350 to 525 pounds or 10 to 15% of the gross trailer weight, which remember is the maximum weight for a trailer along with its contents. So why are all these numbers so important? Well, as mentioned earlier, you don't want to overload the vehicle, which could, could cause harm and strain to the engine, axles, brakes, and more. And again, probably more importantly, it has to do with safety and those safety limitations. You don't want to tow more than what the vehicle is capable of towing. Because let's be honest, if you try to tow a 10,000 pound boat with your Model Y, you're going to break it for sure. So really all in all, I think the Model Y's towing capacity is great. 
and it's really comparable, if not better than other vehicles in its class. And I think it will meet a ton of needs and most people will be extremely happy with the towing capacity of the Model Y. So I bet you're wondering, geez, what can I tow with my Model Y? So those are just a few of the things that you're going to be able to tow with your Model Y. So as long as you stay within the towing capacity of the Model Y, you're going to be able to tow all kinds of stuff. Maybe, just maybe, you can even convince your wife to buy that boat you've always dreamed of. All right, folks, so there you have it. That is the towing capacity of the Model Y, and I hope I was able to provide some useful information, I hope, as it relates to the towing capacity of the Model Y and some terms that you should become familiar with, especially if you plan on using your Model Y to tow. So comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are as far as the capacity is concerned and why Tesla just didn't release this information when they launched the Model Y to begin with. And I know for some of you who are familiar with towing things, some of this information may be redundant to you, but it's always good to have a refresher and specifically go over the capacity and limitations for your specific vehicle, and in this case, the Model Y. And as a quick side note on the way out, for those of you who have already taken delivery of your Model Y, well, you're out of luck. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I would recommend that you go ahead and call Tesla, see if they have anything available for purchase, and installation, or you could just wait a few weeks as I'm sure there will be a ton of aftermarket units available. Well, thank you so much again, folks, for tuning in. We truly appreciate it, and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.